Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video and the few videos that follow, I want to make a responsive navigation menu. Okay, so this is a class exercise, and we're going to handle this over a few videos. But I want to create a web page, a uh, responsive web page, that has a navigation menu that is both mobile friendly and desktop friendly. Now to get started, I've already got a page, in, you know, set up here, and I'm pretending that this uh, page frame div is just going to be like a web page. So this is just a kind of a demonstration uh, model of what we could do on other websites that we wanted to have responsive nav. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get set up with some key sections of this particular page. There we go. So basically, I've just got a header what's going to be a nav area, the main, that's where we'll be doing our work today, a main section and a footer. I'm pretty much ignoring these other three, but I want to focus on the main nav. And I did give it an ID just in case that this website in the future had multiple navigation menus, which is reasonable. It's possible, it's very likely that a, a footer contains a nav as well, maybe even the main section. So, so that's the, uh, the basic HTML structure for this page so far. I haven't started creating the unordered list, of course, yet, the navigation menu. That's going to be coming soon enough. But I do want to go ahead and do some basic styling. And I'm going with the mobile first attitude. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a little comment for myself. And basically, these are going to be styles for phone or for portrait tablets. So I'm going to use the same styling for phones, uh, for phone devices and for tablets that are in a portrait orientation. I will use an app media screen and a min width of 300 pixels. Give myself a set of curly braces, and then I'll make a note that this is the end of phone styles. Now, in anticipation of the larger sections, I'm going to go ahead and copy that, and this is going to be for desktops and landscape tablets. And for that, I'm going to pick a number, I think about 900 pixels. Most tablets have a width of 768 pixels device width, and then their height is usually uh, about 1024. So by the time we move this landscape sideways, its new width will be above 900, and that should take care of that. So I'm setting up the media queries. In fact, I'll go ahead and type my comment in here, end of desktop styles. So we're not doing three different styles here. We're not going to worry about phone, tablets, and desktops. We'll just do two. But the techniques are basically the same if you wanted to split this up into more parts. So now that we've got these, I can go ahead and put in some styling that will affect my uh, my phone. But since I'm using a min width media query, it's actually going to affect everything. So I'll go ahead and put in a few styles for the key parts. And there we go. And I'm going over this fast because it's pretty it's not too critical, and um, it's also things we've done in prior weeks. So you notice I've just got my header, nav, main, and footer. I've all I've given them all a slightly different background color just so we can visualize them, and I've go ahead, gone ahead and set heights. Notice I used a min height for the main section. I do that often for main sections just because you never know when that's going to need to stretch and get taller because of content. However, for the header, the nav, and the footer, I'm confident those will not need to get taller, so I'm okay with setting the heights. Let me go ahead and save this, head over to my browser and refresh, and I can see I've got these four sections pretty obviously center, or structured. And that's all I really want. The overall structural layout is going to be the same for my phones versus my desktop version. So I'm not even worried about reshaping any of these or switching over to a two-column layout. You can work on that part separately. What I do want to focus on is this nav area, which means I do need to head down to the HTML, and in my nav section, in fact, I'll leave that text there. It's not going to hurt anything. Give myself some room to work. And I want to put a few things in this nav section. Basically, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and create an anchor. Now, this anchor is actually going to be the little uh, hamburger icon that will dis hide or display, display hide the, uh, the navigation menu for mobile users. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the word, I should give it an ID, um, I'll, I'll go and call it uh, menu icon. And I'm going to put the word menu in there for now, just so I'll, I'll explain more in a second. 
close that off. Unordered list, ID equals main menu. Close that off. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in a series of list items. Be right back. There we go. So I've got some list items and anchors. Now let's kind of really study what we've got going on here. And because this is an important structural component, and then in the next video, we can start on the mobile styling to get this uh, kind of vertically oriented menu. So kind of taking it back a little bit. So in my nav, ID, main nav, no problem. And then I start off with an anchor. This is going to be my menu icon. My plan is to have kind of like a, just a hamburger icon here, but I'm still going to use an anchor so that people can tap on it with their finger or uh, click on it with a device or something. I do have the word menu, but it's not my intention to be able to see this word menu. I'm actually going to wrap this in a set of italics tags. Um, which are for the most part deprecated. You really don't use italics tags much anymore. But my plan is to, for for mobile display, is to use some really big padding or something on this so that the text isn't visible to anybody, but the text is still there. So that way a vision impaired person who is using some kind of a browser reader or an aural reader would understand that this hyperlink has the word menu there. So I don't intend for for people to see this word, but I'll deal with that later when I start with the styling. Now into the unordered list or the main menu here. You notice I have a series of list items and each of those list items contains an anchor. That's exactly what I want. You will notice that some of the words have spans around them. My plan of action is for the vertical menu on mobile devices, I want all of these words displayed. But when this menu is displayed horizontally for desktop users, I'm gonna hide the span text, and so only a few key words will display. So basically, the horizontal menu is going to have smaller menu text than the vertical menu. Vertical menu has more width to deal with, so I can have greater, uh, longer menu item text in there. So that's basically the structure. So go ahead and make note of this structure, and what we'll do next is start the styling for the mobile devices.